Hello, bu bu My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff, actually. I'm Sammy, and today I'm gonna bring to you a tutorial on how to hack games on your Android phone, specifically encrypted values, which is kind of an advanced tutorial. So, if you don't know how to actually hack games using Game Guardian or SB Game Hacker, then I would advise you to find some other tutorials on my channel to get started with that. Alright, so how do you hack encrypted values? What are encrypted values? Well, Essentially, encrypted values are values that the developers of a game really don't want you to find, so they use mathematical uh, algorithms in their programming to hide them to make it really, really hard to cheat in a game. However, there are apps that allow you to get around those little barriers that are put in place, namely the ones that I would recommend you use is a Game Guardian, which is arguably the best memory editor for Android at the moment, requires a root. SB Game Hacker, again, requires a root. Also, a good memory editor. Now, if you want something without a root, you would use HackerBot to find um, modded APKs instead. Because clearly, if you don't have a rooted phone, you're not going to be able to use game hacking apps, sadly, because they all require a root. So, anyways, you can find all this software at Cheatware.net. Just Google it. Go to Cheatware.net. You can download the stuff right here. Just tap it. Get it. Alright, anyway, so encrypted values. How do they work? Well, I've already hacked this game. It's called Burrito something. I don't even remember. You shoot a guy into the air and then he squashes gummy bears. It's, it's weird. Anyways. So, I've already hacked this one, I got a lot of money, I bought a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna do it again, okay? Now, with encrypted values, it doesn't really matter whether the value is high or low, uh, it's gonna take some time depending on the game, and I'm have to, gonna have to fa fast forward through most of this. So, in Game Guardian, and in ASK, SP Game Hacker, you just essentially, you go for the scan that enables to search for encrypted values. How do you know your value is encrypted? Well, if you use the usual scanner without encrypted values, if you just scan for a, a, either auto value, D word, or whatever, what I did with this game is I first started with D word, I went to float double, and then I at some point I realized that it's probably encrypted, so I turned on the encrypted search, which is how you should do game hacking. So essentially, you search for encrypted values once you've realized that you can't find the exact money value using your normal kind of scan type, okay? All of these, essentially, except maybe the the less common ones like sword, D word, a uh, Q word. I mean, D word is is the most common one. And essentially, then you do the same thing again, but with with encrypted value, and then you go for D word again, which is what I did. All right, so let's just get started with this. Essentially, what you do is you get the number that you have uh, currently. It's I can't even read it from here. Eight million nine hundred and sixty three. So you take that into Game Guardian, you put it into your value, uh, 89638, uh, I have to do it with 8963, and then the rest of my numbers I can't see right now, it's 290. Alright, 290, so you just enter your value here, you set the scan type to encrypt it, and then you start again with the most common value type, which is D word in my case, uh, it is always D word. And then you search, and that's gonna take some time, so I'm gonna have to fast forward through this. Alright, it's been about four minutes, um, I'm almost out of coffee, and we have 140 million values. So necessarily, absolutely necessarily, we need to narrow down that selection. Now the way you do that is how you would always do it with Game Guardian. Just spend some of your money, and scan again, essentially. So now I'm at 8.67. And don't make mistakes with your typing here. Eight six. Uh, oh, oh, almost did it. Almost uh, eight six seven um, zero because it's going to cost you five minutes if you make mistakes. Um, seven ninety. Is that right? Yeah. We don't want to. Yeah. Seven ninety. Ah. I. Yeah. I just need to be sure. Else five minutes. Seven ninety. All right. And seven nine zero. Refine. And I hope this will be quicker. But uh, I, I doubt. Actually, it's slightly quicker, but I'm still gonna fast forward through this. Alright, it seems we're finished, and we got a little bit over a million values still, I believe. Actually, no, 140,000, which is a lot more manageable. So, at this point, you just repeat the same process 
again, and in my case that would be 5.80, uh, actually 5.870, 5870, 5870, okay, uh, let's do that again, 5870, and what else do we have here? Uh, 790 again, goody, let's go, uh, where's the, my search, there we go, um, 790, is that correct? Uh, I hope it's correct, 790, I need to correct it again, uh, uh, be sure you don't mess up all that time you just spent waiting, so, okay, refine again, and now it's really quick, thank god, alright, uh, now we need to, uh, again, spend some money, let's just spend these 2 million, 38 uh, pinata, don't need it. 3870. Let's do it again. Let's not make mistakes. 3870. And 790 again. I mean, obviously, it, it will be, but you know. 790. And there we go. Refine again. And essentially, we repeat that process until we are left with one value, which I'm gonna go forward to. All right, and we're left with two values, one of which is zero, which is, is probably not the money value I would wager. <laughs> so, yeah, this is most certainly the money value, and I would recommend you only start changing values once you're down to two or three values, just for safety. Yeah, and essentially that's it. You just keep changing, keep scanning the encrypted value. It's going to take some time depending on the game. But at that point, you can just add some nines in there. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna go for uh, let's say nine 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 nine. Yes, and now we should have a bunch of money. I think uh, we have. How much money do we have? Uh, we just need to buy something to update. Ninety nine million. So let's just add one more nine at the end there. Nine. Yes. And that should be pretty much uh, almost a billion at this point, okay? Now, already, I already gave myself pretty much a billion before. And, yeah, it's, 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 it works, as you can see. It's still 700 million. I think pretty much a billion is the most because it's a D-word value. And you can't go any higher than this. Like, if I added another 9 here, uh, 9, it just wouldn't work. See, the uh, number has to be between this. Actually, I could go for 4.2 B billion, uh, what is that? I don't even know, is that a trillion? 4.2 trillion, uh, let's just do that really quick. Just, so we have 4.2, 4.2 I think it was, right? So 4200999999, oh, oh, nine, 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 nine. that should be it, right? So that would be pretty much close to the maximum money that you could have. So 4.2, actually it's a billion, isn't it? Yeah. 4.2 billion, okay. <laughs> so now I can upgrade these things to the maximum level. And now I would have to rechange my value up to get more billions. But you can see how that works. So in D word, clearly that seems to be the highest number that you can get is 4.2 billion, which is uh, a four and then nine zeros after it, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, and and that allows me to buy the the coolest things, or whatever. Oh, did I not not put enough zeros? I didn't put enough zeros. Um, so another another zero here would be nice. Thank you very much. I think yes, there we go. And we're in the billions again. So that is essentially how that works. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's pretty much a normal game guardian scan, except. Scans don't work the normal ones, so you just go into your your um, scan mode and you en enable encrypted value. In SB Game Hacker, it's very similar. I don't even know if I have SB Game Hacker installed on this device, so uh, I might show you real quick. Let's just exit out real quick. SB Game Hacker, what you would do in SB Game actually it doesn't even work on this device. Let me just go into a blue stacks real quick. In SB Game Hacker, what you would do is you would go into your settings right here. Actually, you'd have to connect to a game first. 
Let's just do that. Let's go into SB Game Hacker. You go into your settings and then you go for DE because that is the encryption. Uh, I know it's a little bit counterintuitive, but here it says the encryption for searching some encrypted values. All right. So in SB Game Hacker, it's DE mode. In Game Guardian, you just in, you just enable the um, encrypted value search. Thanks, you guys for watching. I hope this has taught you something. I hope this has helped. See you guys soon on HackerBot.net and have a good one.